Hey y'all, it's me Gigi. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to work with fall colors or autumn colors, depending on what you like to say. We're going to use those leaves and this palette minus the brown. And actually I'm going to switch up the yellow too. Oops. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to start by laying down this real pretty khaki color. It's kind of a greenish tan, so I'm calling it khaki. It kind of looks like khaki to me. Let me know what you think it looks like. And the other, three of those nails are going to be that color. Two are going to be this black. But we're just putting down the black because we're going to add something on top of it. Uh, then we're going to make a couple of Frenches. This set is all about if, like, imagine it's a crisp fall day. There are leaves swirling around in the wind. You grab your beautiful velvet jacket and slip it over your arms and shoulders and back. And then you wrap a beautiful plaid scarf around your neck and you hit the streets and you're having a wonderful day. That is this set. That, that vibe is what we're going for in this set. Honestly, I think we got there. I think we did it. So we're going to go ahead after curing that. Uh, the tacky layer on this black is perfect for these chromes. Um, so we're just going to burnish that in and we're going to do it on both of those Frenches. And on these two nails, that's where our plaid is going to start. We do have one nail where the entire thing is plaid. Uh, guys, I want to address something with this Sauvalon. Um, it's Sauvalon, right? Yeah. Chrome. It doesn't chrome that great, if I'm being 100% honest. Certainly not in a no wipe top coat. Um, the color payoff is more intense with these if you use them correctly. Uh, the ones I have from Born Pretty, the red is really intense. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying some of the other colors are not as intense as you want them to be, but they burnish right in to a no wipe top coat. So they do what they're supposed to do just not as intensely. And if you really want the color payoff with the Sauvalon ones, um, base coat, use base coat. The sticky layer on the base coat grabs a hold of it. It really sucks it in. And then you can put a top coat on and it looks perfect. Um, but all the colors don't burnish into the, the no wipe top coat very well. And I have struggled with several of the colors. So, I can't give it a full thumbs up. I honestly, when I'm done with it, I'll probably try another brand to see what I can come up with as far as better quality, maybe. Uh, maybe I'll try Votino's because he's always showing off his stuff, but I don't know if his is any better than anything else. So, I mean, everybody probably goes through the same manufacturers for this kind of stuff, right? So, I don't know. I want to, to look around and see if everybody's is similar or if I can find something better. So what we're doing now, sorry, while I was chatting there, I'm laying down the stripes for our, the first layer of our plaid. And guys, this is one of those trust the process sets. I honestly almost quit a couple times, even though I've made plaids before. I know that it's a process nail, but in case you couldn't tell from my voice and my stuffiness, um, I still don't feel really great. So as I'm looking at it, I was feeling super defeated. And that's, I think, mainly because I'm still kind of sick. So eh, it is what it is. So the first layer is kind of that rusty red color. And then our second layer is going to be yellow. And I did try to use the yellow that I had originally picked out, but it just wasn't popping the way I wanted it to. So I ended up switching it to a different brand uh, and a different style of product. What we're using right now, this rusty color is from Lanfo and it's just one of their gel polishes. It's the exact color that I had in my mind. So that's why I went with it. With a look like this, if you're not good at making the stripes, just do me, do what I do, do me, and use your cleanup brush. <laughs> Love being the queen of cleanups because your cleanup brush is, is really, really your best friend. It is. Um, so we're just gonna finish up our stripes here. This is the one nail that's gonna be full plaid. Um, and then once we make the plaid, we've also got um, another layer that's gonna go on top, so. Um, I bought the, the, that last layer, I bought it a few weeks ago from Amazon 
uh, and I've not really used them yet. So this seemed like the perfect set. So we've switched from Lanfo over to Model 1s. And this Model 1s is one of the solid cream gels. or uh, they I think they used to call them solid cream gels, but now they're cream, no, solid painting gels, I think. But they're like pudding gels. They're just pudding gels, right? Whatever, whatever. Every brand has its own name for this type of gel. They're just solid gels. Um, they stay exactly where you put them. If you want a little texture in the polish, they're very good at leaving texture behind. So, and that's why I liked it for this because it was really giving me that plaid vibe, right? So we're just gonna finish up those lines and then everything's getting fully cured. There's no partial cures on this, full cures. And then we're coming in again with a stripe of the black and we're gonna bring that, that red chrome down into our plaid. And honestly, I don't think the plaid looks good until you finish off with those, the thinner lines in the plaid. I think that on a nail, that's what really takes it to that plaid place. So, cause up until right here, I was like, Man, I'm gonna have to start over. I don't like these nails at all. And then I did this right here. And I was like, oh, what am I silly? I love these nails, they're gorgeous. Um, I found removing the excess of the, the chrome powder with my finger was the best option as my finger just wiped it away but didn't take anything off of the black. Uh, whereas a brush was not getting it done, alcohol was removing the what, what you want. Uh, so I just used my bare thumb and wiped it away. I don't know what your best technique is, but with the texture of this nail, it was really sticking in there and it was hard to remove. So when I just brushed it off with my thumb, it worked. And so that's what I did. And um, I, I just left it that way. Um, now we're just finishing up our little lines. I do wanna point out that that nail is filthy, filthy, dirty, but everything gets cleaned up, so. In the end, everything ends up looking really pretty. Uh, there was there was a lot of trial and error with this set. I don't want to say mistakes because if you're getting better and you're learning, it's not a mistake. It's just it's just the process of learning, right? Uh, guys, I know I dipped out of frame a couple times here today. It was honestly not me in my movements. It was that I didn't have the camera set up perfectly. And so I wasn't as low as I should have been. And there's that, I'm so sorry about that. Again, my I don't have an excuse, my reason is just that I wasn't feeling well. I'm still not feeling well. I know you can hear that in my throat and my voice. It's not good guys, this cold, it's not just this cold though. This is the third time I've been sick in three months. My butt is thoroughly kicked. Um, so I just can't, I couldn't manage. I, that's why there was only one video last week. I just, everything I tried to do was just not working and everything was exhausting me. I just was exhausted every second of the day. So I just, I just wasn't making it guys. I just wasn't making it. Okay, so now what we have down, now that we've finished our plaid, I've put down a base coat and we are pressing, not pressing, setting down, setting gently down these cute little leaves. And I know they, in this light, there you go, you can see that one's on there. You can see their leaves, but they're also very shiny and very holographic, so they don't read on camera that well. But here we go, we're gonna do that plastic wrap technique. And you don't wanna press, really, you just wanna hold it behind there so that that, that plastic wrap will bend and make the glitter bend. But let me tell you what, these leaves are stubborn and they didn't really lay down that well. So what I ended up doing, I don't know why I left this extra footage here, but um, I'm not gonna cut it out. There you go, let's just chat. Um, there we go, there's my plastic wrap technique. I ended up coming in with a little builder gel across the top just to smooth everything out. I did omit that from the video just to shorten things up a bit. But just so that you realize that's why everything looks as good as it does is because there's builder gel there. So that red chrome transfers onto everything that you use it with. So do not put whatever base, top, coat, whatever, don't put that brush in that bottle 
without wiping it off first. You may even want to dip it into a little alcohol. I went on ahead and put those two in the lamp to cure so I could really take my time doing the top coat on these. And I stole the stand back from those two and <laughs> just grabbed it for these. I actually have a two of these stands, but I really did steal it from the ones in the lamp because I was, it irritates me not to have the stand to work with. I, I don't know why that is. It's probably silly, but there you go. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and finish up our top coat here. <laughs> Pop those in the lamp and out with the finished set. That top coat, by the way, was a matte top coat. That was um, Kiara Sky Velvet Matte Top Coat. Guys, I'm in love with this set. I almost feel like I wish I'd done it on myself. Uh, it's gorgeous. I definitely think of a pretty red fall velvet jacket with a beautiful scarf around your neck and leaves just flowing on the air. Uh, that's the vibe I get from this nail set. I hope you think so too. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for wa watching. Ah! Hit my subscribe button, help me smash my goals, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.